DJ. You gotta clean your gun every day. Have you gone haywire? And listen to this next song. to my world. Bikes, mamas, and beer. Yeah, unlucky for you. I like killing scumbags. Come on, 
If it's all gone dark, that means you're dead. I'm gonna enjoy this a lot more than you. Mom is born to ride. Yep, your life is done. I'm ending this interaction. I'm gonna shove that gun up your ass. Your biggest mistake? Being born. Have a nice day. To me. Fuck you. Yeah, you understand now, huh?
for the shit pile. A chill pill, puto. Easy there, Queen!
Excuse me. <sighs> Mr. Mendez. Armando! Aquí! Tus amigos! <sighs> nice talking to you too, pal. <sighs> ah, my brother. What a conversationalist. Only today we were discussing philosophy. He is a great fan of Plato, but I have always been more Aristotelian. I think perhaps that is why he is so happy, and I am so weighed down by worry. What do you think? Me? Shit. The world is full of suffering, then you die. See? I knew we were of one mind, you and I. Which is why I know you will feel this slight as much as me. Here we go. Some crooks have shown their contempt for us by using our home as an entryway for drugs into this fine nation. Like you. Exactly. Plagiarism. It is an insult. I hope you're wise enough to see that if you let a man insult you, before long he will try to kill you. You must kill these degenerates. You'll find them near Ocean Beach. Are you? Yeah, take another drag of your Siggy Waverly. You know, you make me shiver. Like I shiver in the bathroom, looking down at the urine. And I say, man, that's a lot of men's hair. Move then I your bitch ass. Not a freaking guy. You are massive! Ew! Is it just me, or is it just this anger? What was she talking about? My little boy got the job done. But you know what? I'm drinking. The fact remains, they are the same thing. For the working man, too much work. For the fat cat, or in your case... Who the hell is that guy?! Yeah, that's right. It's a gun. Having uncooperative spouses killed, how do we use modern technology such as the enormous shoulder pad or the espadrille to make it better, eh? Not worse. Martin Graves, you work in the field of technology. What do you think? I'm glad that finally he's up in here. I think that the single most incredible thing in the whole universe is the human spoon. Uh, apart from the giraffe's neck. Please, somebody uh, we, shut we, him we, up! That... Miss, don't know. We have the power to save ourselves and... This is a private party, pal. Yeah. Well, this is a public execution. Holy shit! Get them, girls! Motherfucker. This ain't no movie, and this ain't no kid's story. Exactly. I'd keep in a 12 shooter between my legs. God, I love my country right now. Football, beer, freedom, Reagan, B-Rock. Other stage 
Russians are from man-eaters. We only eat one thing. Moves from the top of the Vulture Building. This is V-Rock. Hey, all you hot chicks, are you listening? Cousin Ed with Intern Laszlo. I'm not the intern, I'm the co-host, almost. Besides, I smoke cigarettes. Yeah, probably Athena 200. That's what I want my phones to do. Light up. Some more of these free tickets to give away to the 666 caller. You're on the home of the vulture. Sophisticated music-loving drivers have understood that the future of music is the audio cassette. Fast forward, rewind, time and time again. It's the Fast Forward Promise, and it's available today. No money down. Full credit, just three fifty-five APR. In particular, for people who like to make superior quality mixtapes that really have a message, we were the first company in the state to offer super high bias chrome metallic cassettes. Take your music anywhere. It never skips or scratches, just rips, tears, or melts. Our unique low financing offer gives you the future today. Fast forward. The future is yours if you can handle it. Stop by Fast Forward in Vehicle Audio today. my way through three whole words. I wish I was in a rainstorm reading a letter and a song was on the radio.
Fernando Martinez, out there in the field, discovering love firsthand. Fernando, where are you? In the massage parlor, Lionel, is fantastic. Boy, I mean, these girls really know how to relax you. Fernando, baby. please, this is a family show. Where do you think babies come from, Lionel? Not from therapy, buddy, or the stork, but from the power and the passion of a load of baby oil and a woman to relax you. You see, we waste so much of our love when you make an abstract painting on our face or a map of the Vulcan Islands on your stomach on a lonely night. But this is business class, baby. This is 1984. It is beautiful. Passion can be released. Boy, do I know that. All the ethnicities, Asians, the Swedes, the little Mexican girl. It is beautiful. Really incredible. Hey, baby, I think I'm getting a little stress again. Uh, that was our roving reporter, Fernando Martinez. <laughs> what a joker. Just broadcasting from a mall and pretending to be getting an erotic massage. As if. I mean, I think we all know love comes from the heart. And passion is a spiritual connection between two beautiful people. Not a cheap hand job in a seedy massage parlor. I never have, I never will. I'd rather dream of someone special. Let's take it from the top. Set and action figures featuring Tim. Let's evacuate these bitches! Right, Ho Chi? Ah, so you're a big trouser boy, Tim. Ho Chi Bat sold separately. You can relive all your favorite moments from the movie Evacuator. The savages are attacking! How? Where's Tim? Here I am! I hear some ethnics need to be taught a lesson in freedom! Where's my bazooka? Bazooka sold separately. The Evacuator playset comes with a Venezuelan village, villagers, and real Nepal. You never take our village freedom loving American scum? No, but I'll take your daughter while you watch. Ha ha ha. Right, Ho Chi? Ha so. Ha ha ha. You are funny soon. Let's burn this shit all down. You ready, Wandering Hands? Wandering Hands peyote playset sold separately. Get Tim, Ho Chi Bat, and Wandering Hands with their battle action weapons. Each sold separately. The Evacuator Playset, ages three and under. If you're on a spirit journey, you'll really understand this next record. 
If you've got a basic command of the English language, you'll probably understand it too. Take it away, boys. Make me sob. Art of Noise, Moments in Love. I love you just the way you are. On or off your period. <laughs> Emotion. 98.3.
This is emotion. Who tells only the lonely? Mm -hmm. The lonely smile. We smile without any style. We kiss all together wrong. No intention.
celebrate American diplomacy and take a mallet. Ah! Thank God you're here. What's going on? I've got some bad news, friend. You're in terrible trouble. What? Diego is beside himself with worry. Well, wait a minute, hold on. What are you talking about? The police got some of our merchandise, but it's you we're worried about. Why? You see, we're utilitarians. The greatest good for the greatest number. And there are two of us, but only one of you. So Diego suggested we explain to the police that the cocaine was yours. Well, oh, oh, my, oh, yeah, that's very thoughtful of you. And unfortunately, I have this paperwork showing your involvement in the project. Unless we could resolve this little distraction. And how do you suggest we do that? You steal the cocaine back for us. It's uh, been impounded. Mm. You must steal it before they take it back to the police station. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. I do so enjoy our conversations. I find you very inspiring. Thanks. Here we go again. Have fun! Bitches. You a bitch. Some cargo containers at the police impound. Our coke is hidden inside them, all mixed up amongst the other cargo. Don't worry, I'll get them out of there. Muy bien, I'll be in touch.
back. Athena! Athena 200s. This is pleasure that lasts longer. So long. And it's low tar. Low tar. Celebrating a struggle for women's equality. <laughs> Thank you, senor! You're incredible! No problem! Where do you want me to drop you off? <laughs> oh, please! Don't drop me, senor! <laughs> Take me to the car park. Gracias. Celebrate your womanhood. It's your tiny torch of freedom and liberation in today's society. Time to relax. Time for an Athena. Grab your lips of and smoke it. You're a goddess. Smoke like one, too. You're a goddess. Smoke like one, too. Athena 200. It's Athena. Athena 200. Back on BCFL. Started with a kiss. Gracias, senor. That was fantastic. Adios. Judgment day, why that?
This shit is over. Lance! Oh no! Lance, get over here and explain yourself! Shh! Stop acting like a child! Shh! Don't you shush me! Keep your voice down! No! You can barely tie your own shoelaces. You telling me how to behave? Will you shut up, you stupid gorilla! The place is bugged! The DA is on to us! Happy now! Where you going, man? We're gonna have bugs in all our places. And by the time you find them all, we'll be halfway through a long jail term. What am I supposed to do? These bugs transmit long range. So knock out all the police antenna. The DEA won't even get a signal from these things. Oh yeah, it's loaded. Mental note, shoot more fools.
along to this track while you do it.
como el culo, te muerdo el culo, I nibble your thigh, I awake your soul, let's go, get hot, my city. That was Willy Colón, el malo. Don't miss a new episode of The Barfs this Saturday morning at 9, where the barfs come under attack from a familiar evil menace. Big Major Barf! My bouncy purple people are starving. Our tiny purple crops failed, and all our tiny purple livestock was sold to hamburger chains, selling burgers to the barfs. Please help. This sounds like a lack of personal accountancy and a slow but steady decline towards a welfare state. That's un-American. But us bouncy purple people have always helped the barfs and shared our knowledge and love. Barfs are individuals. We have a unique serial number on our foot. We're self-sufficient and proud of it. You deserve to starve. But hindsight is easy. But as my mom, Harlot Barf, told me, a wise barf arms himself to the teeth because of tomorrow, not yesterday. Ah! You shot me! You're a major dick, big major barf! We learned today that purple is a lot like red. Never judge a book by its cover. Instead, shoot on sight! The Barfs, Saturday mornings at 9. The Barfs, yay! Radio Espantoso is here to stay. We get our first sponsor on the phone. Mi amigo, Jeremy Robert. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Hector. Great music, man. I love to support the arts. The entertainment industry does a lot of importing through my company. You know, I'm at all the best parties, usually next to the bathroom. Please bring exact change and be subtle. Hey, are there any Coast Guard boats around? No, man, nothing. Just beautiful weather. Excellent. I got some importing to do, and I don't like to be bothered with paperwork or bribes. Everything is exactly how you like it. Um, now, Jeremy, about that audition with your movie producer friend? Uh, uh yeah, man. Uh, any day now. Believe in yourself, and wear tight pants. He likes that. Thanks, man. You're a believer, man. You're a believer of Hector. I love you, man. Protesting against the oppression of power ballads and heavy metal music with real Latin music. Yeah, musica latina, baby, for you that will save your soul or at least make your hips shake. Acid.
espantoso. I was a famous telenovelas actor in El Salvador and Chile. Now, I am a dignified DJ. Play music para ti. Música para ti, mamá. Telenovelas are very much like your American soap operas. Except we sleep with everyone on the show. Whereas in America, the actors only sleep with everyone after filming. But why act when I can transmit 100,000 watts of pure Latin power into your heads, Vice City? Get ready to revolt, Vice City. Take to the streets. Tell him Hector Hernandez sent you. This is a revolution. I am a revolutionary. I am a bullfighter. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and that's the way it is. 
NPR, hosted by the intelligent and topical Maurice Chavez, whom I've been calling for a week and doesn't seem to...
I keep Laszlo tied to a chain in the corner so he won't ruin my show. Ah! Or grab my ass. The Vulture is back, and he's carpet bombing Vice City. V-Rod keeps passing out the prices with the Vulture Price Patrol. Where there's carry-on, we'll start feasting. Tell Vice City you're a rebel. rebel. All you need to do is pick up your V-Rod window sticker, place it on your car window, or right on the primer, and you'll not only let everyone know what kind of music you like, you'll set the record straight on your sexuality once and for all. Plus, if the Price Patrol stops you, you'll win a V-Rod muscle shirt and a complete hair care set from Sissy Spritz. We're patrolling in the streets of the V-Rock van. Looking for underage girls and members of the V-Rock army. The Vulture needs your flesh. So pick up your V-Rock window sticker at any burger shop, complete the look store, or send in some locations, or we'll pet your eyes out. Hey there, you're on V-Rock with, uh, with Laszlo and Cousin Ed. We're gonna, um... You are doing that all wrong. What? You sound about as much fun as a chainsaw enema. And trust me, that's not a lot of fun. You gotta sound like you're the party organizer, not the funeral director. What are you talking about? Give me a break, and I'm trying to be myself. No wonder we're suffering. This is V-Rock, shithead, not emotion. V-Rock. Doing our bit for the community by keeping this freak off the streets. Let's get our gender in order. Let's play some rock.
with Laszlo the intern who's paddling his pink canoe till it leaks. It's Vera. I've never even seen a pink canoe. You are part whip, part pussy. That's a wuss, and that's you, my friend. You know how some guys grow their hair long and they look like rock stars, and others, they just look like ugly girls? Little Lassie here is looking pretty damn feminine, aren't you, honey? V-Rock. Whether it's two for Tuesday, three for Thursday, or shit face Saturday, put a fist in the air and listen to V-Rock. I'm underage, big daddy. This is America. It's a free country. It's a capitalist country. It's a great country. Let's celebrate with these messages from our important sponsors. Uh, howdy, stranger. Can I get you a drink? Give me a double odd lager. Uh, what, what, you think you can handle it, stranger? Double odd lager. The beer in the shotgun can. Made for the way you like to drink beer. Fast. You must not be from around these parts, stranger. Now watch. I'm the only girl in town that can take both barrels. Look, mama. Doggy, look at her go. My God, that's a classy broad. I'll say. She uses the car park for dates. Hardly ever the pinball table. Double alt logger. Double barrel for double the good times. Pull the tab and shoot it down your throat. When you're parting with the shotgun, who knows where the evening will go? For the man that doesn't have time for sissy drinking, double alt logger beer. Get both barrels. Here's a song that'll make a man out of anyone, even Lazarus. Yeah, well, I'm going to broadcasting school next year, and then I'm going to come back to Vice City and be a V-Rock DJ. Rock radio isn't a formula. It's about rebellion and freedom, Lazarus.
makes Vice City great. This is the city of the future. And the home of the fathers of all of Terry's illegitimate babies. You're free. You have been a bad boy. Uh, Lauda! You have been a bad girl. Oh! Uh. Oh, give it a rest, Rennie! I went to film school. I am an expert in everything. I love bullying people. I'm perfect. So why do I have to spend my time whipping you? For the art. Oh, you're so very bourgeois. Sweet, but so, so. Average. Go! It's over. You're fired! But Rennie! But Rennie, but Rennie. Rennie, you are fantastic and I am so very mediocre. No! Go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Darling! You are here to lighten my heart. Uh, not exactly. I love you. I love this man! Kiss me! Hey, hey, give me a break. I'll break you if you break me. I can't deal with this. Oh, darling, please. I need your help. It's a friend of mine, Gonzalez. <laughs> He's got to move a shitload of coke. <laughs> <sighs>
Are you Gonzalez? Ah, you must be Victor. Hey, senor, I need to get my colonel's merchandise safely to Vice Port. Your colonel? You're in the army? Not your army. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez is my boss. I'll bear that in mind. Take my copter. My men will join you. Okay. Man, I love that Buddha guy. I'm all about the little fat bastard. I can tell you what, that's the fucking hot shit in life. They're both coming. Get them.
I've lost many good men today. Men I cannot afford to lose if I am to protect my colonel's interests in the deal ahead. If you need a bodyguard, you can do a lot worse than me. For the right price, of course. Maybe so, but I can't trust anyone until I've discovered who leaked our arrival to those puta bandits. Sweet hail tarnation! This is why I live Whoa! outside of town! Hey, if you were my cousin, I wouldn't sleep with you. Ha <laughs> look at that! Shut up, you cutty bitch! This is V-Rock! some more money. Thank you, Heinlich. That's all we have time for. And just next time on New World...
sunset. Emotion is your station. I know just what to say. It's just a game of
up? This is Judgment Day, wise ass. He doesn't know. Uh, no. And let's keep it that way. Of course. He is an artist. The pressure could kill him. I mean, I perform well, knowing people want to drill me full of holes. But I am unique, darling. Darling! Hey, Rennie. Hi. Uh... Darling, this is darling. Darling, darling. Wunderbar. So now we are acquainted, no? Who wants to umba? Uh, I'm Vic. All right, Barry, mate. Now, darling, darling needs a favour. Yeah, I need you to drive me and one of my clients around. Major player. Could sing the birds down from the trees. You'll love him. I'm kind of expensive for a limo service. Yeah, well, rock and roll's a dirty business, cock. Excuse me? Well, this one bloke gave me three million quid, but now he wants it back. Cheeky twat. He's threatening to kill my bloke if I don't pay up. OK. I'll help you, but it's gonna cost. Yeah, yeah. Crossed on the bike is at the time. You better go and meet me, boy. You are gonna love him. I 
I got a special limo ordered. Let's go and get it, then pick up the boy. A special limo? Bulletproof. I'm not taking any chances, mate. This nutter means business. Look, Barry, when I agreed to play Vice City, I didn't expect it to be my swan song. It's no problem, mate. Just some nutcase trying it on. Hey, aren't you? Phil, mate. Phil Collins. Let's do the meet and greet another time, I. Come on! Giorgio, what's his money back? What money? Barry, who are these nutters? Keep your pretty head down, Phil! Christ on a boy, Vicky Florence! For crying out loud, Barry, what have you done this time? I swear on my mother's life, on my dead mother's cry. I don't know what he's on about. Shouldn't we call the police? This is Vice City, mate. Seriously? Bandit country? It's nothing. Who is this Giorgio you owe money to? Oh, uh, just a fan. He lent me. I mean, he, you know, he gave me a few quid. Barry, are you in hock to gangsters? No, mate, I swear. On your life. Yeah, well, that's what I'm worried about. You're a real moron. I should have left you managing that talking dog. What was his name? Puddles? Dogs soiling themselves when there are nuclear missiles aimed at Vice City. It is well known. Vice City is a prime target, as the Russians hate our speedboat culture and enormous melons. But enough of orange analogies for the moment. Uh, so a technologist is... I'm sorry, uh, there are other people on the panel. I, I, I said, I said, I should press the issue, my friend, not stroke your ego, okay? And please, where do they get these people, eh? Okay, well, next up, we have America's favorite female industrialist, Forbes Waverly III. Hello, Forbes. Hey, Chavez, can we get on with this? There's a real estate closing I have to get to. Has someone got a light? Certainly. And I, those are very empowering cigarettes. Interesting name, by the way. Kind of manly. Not exactly gender...
Out of intense public activist, Bryony Craddock. Hello. Nice to meet you, Bryony. You know, I can't help but notice you are wearing a half shirt and have a large belly. Are you by any chance pregnant? Uh, yes, obviously. Look at me. What do you think? That I was just a fat bitch? Typical patriarchy. Hey, <laughs> okay, okay. Hold your temper there. You know, to my people, fertility is very important. The Aztecs all went sterile from UFOs. I read it in a book. Who is this guy? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Gray for chiming in there. And goldfish live in trees. Okay, as I was saying, a pregnant woman is very good. Is it your first? Uh, no, dumbass. It's my 16. 16? Yeah. Good lord. And as my people say, the Grand Canyon is a very big place. And if you're going, please, take a flashlight. Are, are you not worried about overpopulating? Well, someone's got to make sure we aren't overrun. Plus, I'm producing nothing but top quality offspring, Mo. Oh, please. Hey, 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 excuse me. It's Maurice, please, okay? Not me. I'm not a farmer. I'm trying to build a career here, eh? A reputation. A pathway that will take me all the way to the police. You know, a public radio cannot influence policymakers. I don't know what can. Bribes. Blackmail. Yes, 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 yes. Debate, 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 please. Uh, Healthy debate. A young idea. Getting pulled into maturity by people who know. Go getters on the path to being broadcasting superstars. One day, I will be a news anchor on a major station. Let's press the issue. What issue? I was getting to that. Okay, listen, all of you. You know, this show only works if you let me speak. I'm the ringmaster, okay? You're the lions. You clap like seals when I say something. And then a clown comes and scoops up my poop. And the children clap, and this, this, my friends, is show business. So, let me do my bit. Okay, lady? You are so rude. I'm a mother. I take priority. Please, miss, let us press the issue first and fall out later, okay? Now, in today's hectic society, in this age of mini portable filing systems you carry everywhere so you know the date and the phone number, of high-tech wristwatches with digital readouts, in this crazy time of condominium development and junk that has been turned into bonds, Anything is possible. American workers are drunk. Factories are shutting down. Youths wearing leather moccasins and piercing their ears. And even the family itself is under threat. Dear God. Yes. And as that drag queen in charge in Britain said, there is no such thing as society. So let's press the issue. Modern life in 1984. Crazy or what? Is that it? Modern life? Crazy or what? That's an issue? Oh, you are so pathetic. Mr. Hola, man. I was told we were here to discuss labor issues. To discuss deregulating the corporate shackles that are strangling this town. What kind of pathetic loser journalist are you? Yeah, take another drag of your ciggy, Waverly. You know, you make me shiver the way you look at me. Like I shiver in the bathroom, looking down at the urinal. And I say, man, that's a lot of men's hair. Then I say, Maurice, you are a fat fool of testosterone. You... Uh, apart from the giraffe's neck. Please, somebody uh, we, shut we, him uh, up! Yes, don't be angry. We have the power to save ourselves, and technology is the solution. In less than, than five years, manual labor will be entirely obsolete. I have no idea what you're saying. Go on. Um, uh, in El Bente, I can't... Uh, I'll, I'll get a dictionary. Uh, shops will be staffed by, by robots. Uh, coal will be mined by robots. Uh, dogs will be worked by robot robotic cats. Even, even the dogs themselves will be robotic. I mean, if you think you want a baby, but, but don't know for certain, you'll have a robot baby you can build and raise instead. It will drink oil instead of milk. You're a robot. Yes, that it's, is great it's a for the economy. I wish I was a robot. Yeah, that's atrocious. That is inhumane, sir. You're very narrow because you're from low income. Excuse me? Nonsense. Because it's already happening in Japan, Australia. Did you know uh, one of two babies born in last year in Sweden was a robot, and the rest already act like them. They, they have the happiest society on the planet. But they, 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 how they are they making these robots? What are you talking about? I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm alone in this room. Do robots ever top themselves? Do they, are they ever on top? They're usually bottom. Do robot women ever spend all your money on shoes and complain about how you empty the bank out of five dollars to own the future? An electronic future? They don't have the conception. Do robots invent idiotic religions? No, but, but that's but not nothing, my point. But nothing, you silly little tiny person. Excuse me? Excused? What's the difference between an electronic friend I make in my bedroom and the unnecessary fetus you're carrying right now? All right. We both made them. Who are you to say your method is better than mine? Who made you God, you 
You are revolting to use God's name that way. How dare you speak to a pregnant woman like that? Oh, shut up, sweetheart. What? Stop it with that pregnancy stuff. So you've knocked out a few puppies. Good for you. You expect this little jerk with his midget dick to be nice to you? I don't understand why this is even an issue. This country was founded on the fact that we should take land from whomever. In this case, alligators and swamp people. What the hell? Florida is about development, and I didn't move down here for my beautiful Connecticut to have some hippies stand in the way of progress. My father ignored me throughout my child.
You ain't see me, soldier. Hey, you bum! Since you were making dogs out of balloons, I made you, Maurice Chavez, and you treat me like a lady of the evening? We're both consenting adults. You said no commitment. I'm going to get you, Chavez, you little shit, if it's the last thing I do. Please, Michelle. Okay, there, you see? Healthy debate. Give generously. It's a great cause. I make a meager salary and- You revolt me. Oh, stick it! You self-righteous bitch! Maurice Chavez is done with you. I am going to have an agent. And maybe someday a car with detox. This is a perfect example of why the government shouldn't be funding the media. It gives people ideas above their station. This histrionic sow should be working in the fields, not giving people ideas they don't need. Such as? Such as holidays and sick pay. If something is good for the economy, it's good for the country. Period. Otherwise, you must be Russia. Americans need more patriots. Patriots carry guns Move and shoot the British people on sight. The British are obsolete, like Fortran. I mean, the metric system that would puke Britain. They measure, they measure things with rocks over there. Oh, okay, 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 people. Okay. Hold on, what? 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 Okay, I I'm being told we are running out of time. It seems so quick. Yes, you know, I would like to keep going with this panel, but as they say, if the elevator cable snaps, if your life support machine fails, and there's a nuclear missile hurling towards your hometown, behind the wall, even if she is a frigid mess who only cares about draining the wetlands. I want to talk about the beauty of motherhood. Not again! Many men found crazy and attractive. Yes, yes, but in the same way a car crash is sexy, but real. Afterwards, all you are left with is a broken wreck and a puddle of antifreeze. And the muffler is like this. But what I do know is I am Maurice Chavez. This has been pressing issues, and I think we have shown that liberal debate is well, healthy, and living alive, and in America. Martin Graves. Thank you. My closing statement? Uh, no. Technologist and future serial killer. Ford Swaverly. Hateful capitalist with absolutely no human soul and That's completely me. sexless. Bryony? Uh, Bri Bryony? Are, are, are you okay? Do I look okay, you dumb shit? I'm going into labor, quick! Somebody do something! Ay, Dios mío, what? Uh, I, have a, I have a robotic thing for this. Oh, that, that's broke. beautiful. I need a cigarette. Pressing it's issues first like right here. American water that broke. Oh my gosh. And it's bueno. What, what, what's it just relax? I need a cigarette. Let it I out. I can't handle this. Her hemorrhoid just popped. Does anybody get have, out do you have any, uh... Ew, that's disgusting. Someone get some power. Put it back in. Just put it back in. That's all we have time for. She's taking a mess of my studio. Get her out. Ay, Dios mío. This is some stressed out mess. I don't... I don't even think I can go near one of those things again. It's disgusting. That was Pressing Issues here on BCPR, hosted by the intelligent and topical Maurice Chavez. And for a week, it doesn't seem to ever answer the phone. We really got to talk, Maurice, and I mean really. I gotta go work on my head. You cheap slut, you can just... What the fuck, Vic? God, 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 that is boring, terrible, I'm a hack. Oh, conventional drivel. Hey, uh, Brainy, you got some contacts for me? Darling, do serious purchases of enormous quantities of uncut cocaine grow on trees?
Maybe in your town, but not in mine. Okay, then why do you keep calling me over here? Look, I'm in this to make money for my brother. I don't have time to waste. Darlings, that is beautiful. One day, I will make a film like that. Two brothers. One is a dog, the other a librarian. <gasps> Love blossoms between a man and a pig. <sighs> Three swans die. Oh, oh, oh. The end. Mm. Genius. Oh, oh, whatever you say, but in the meantime, I've got a business to run. I've got to make some money. But darling, wait. If it's money you need, maybe you can breathe some life into this bloody fucking mess. Somebody burn the script. Let's make art, people. Because she can't get enough.
No wonder we're suffering. This is V Rock Shithead, not emotion. V Rock. Doing our bit for the community by keeping this freak off the streets. Let's get our gender in order. Let's play some rock. Ah, Vic. I hope you play golf. Sure. Uh, I've played a round or two. <laughs> I play around all the time. But don't tell my wife. <laughs> Vic, I find the way a man plays golf says much about him. Really? See, si. For instance, I trusted Jesus over there. Yet, he betrayed me. <laughs> I should have known better. He's a terrible golfer. Let's see if I like the way you play, huh? Then maybe we do business. You bastard! No one sells me out! Well played, Vic. Thanks. Regard this as a down payment on your services. I'll be in touch.
Yes, that's love, baby. In the sunshine. We will track their every movement, what they buy, what they eat. We will edit the news speak for the state. Yes, yes, great comrade. But there is a problem. This filthy bastard! With this, the people will be... They will be free, great comrade! This year, home computing will save mankind. The Fruit LC home computing system is coming. It's a future where you can't be tracked or spied upon. It's the thing you always needed, but never knew it. The Fruit LC is the future of electronic individuality and a computer age. Home color computing with the miracle of the cassette loading software programs. Near infinite 18K of incredible memory. Remarkable two-tone eight-inch monitor and the ability to type letters. The price of freedom, just $5,000. Plug into freedom. The miracle of tomorrow is the Fruit LC. They will be free. Wanted accidents, if you know what I mean. We're lovers, not haters, although we do make exceptions. If another idiot tries to make me join a damn Epsilon program or whatever that nonsense is, I might just puke. Kiss on my ass. Here's some Kenny Burke rising to the top. I know. with a stranger in a public place. Feel the love on VCFL. It's a love TKO with Teddy Pendergrass.
to come round here. Shark's bite, fool!
speak! <laughs> You're a failed actor. You were so terrible in your last show. The rich cry less? <laughs> they killed off your bullfighter character. You had a horn in your ass. You suck, man. Uh, nonsense! Uh, uh, more music! Hey, musica, 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 dale, dale, dale. Uh, I am a successful actor and DJ genius. I just want to be clear with everyone. It wasn't a real bullhorn. Ah, nah, I was acting. Come on, you knew that, huh? <laughs> that just made it look like it went up my ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lance T. Vance, baby. T for tulips in Thailand. Great. <laughs> yeah, look, I gotta go. All right, <laughs> later. So, who was that? Oh, bro, that's just the accountant. He's getting us a better rate at cleaning the money. And you call the accountant baby? Well, yeah, I'm a friendly guy. And baby is slang, you know. I don't love him. I ain't like that. Yeah, hey, <laughs> whatever you say. Anyway, we got real things to worry about. Someone's been helping themselves to the stash. The Mendezes are freaking out, and I told them we'd take care of it. Ah, uh, uh, it's the last thing I need on top of everything else. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Oh, man, it's just Louise. I, I really thought we had something, but we just don't get to see each other. Yeah. You know? Well... You know, relationships can be tough. Believe me, I know. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Hey, come on, man. We, we got some fees to deal with. And you could take out your sexual frustrations on them. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's pop. Yeah. You know I love you, bro. All right. So who's been stealing the yayo? What? Oh, yeah, uh, it's the bikers. You sure? Yeah, of course I am. You don't look it. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to prove it to you. You do the flying, I'll do the frying. <laughs> Come on, let's take it to them. mothers down there. Take us in closer, I'm gonna pop a few heads.
Go to hell. You have every right to shit yourself. Yeah, you understand now, huh? Gonna survive? I doubt it. Lance, are you there? Hey, Vic! Look what I found! You're alive! I thought you were dead. No, man! I landed on a few soft bikers! Now I got me a new bike! Yeah! Never mind that. Where's the stolen coke? Uh, yeah! Uh, they probably sold it already, the bastards! I'll see you later, bro. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. intensifies on Vice City streets as many members of the biker gang were viciously slain in downtown today. Initially, police believe the killings to be drug-related. However, forensics have... Gang war intensifies on Vice City streets as many members of the biker gang were viciously slain in downtown today. Initially, police believed the killings to be drug-related. However, forensics have found no evidence of narcotics at the crime scene and can only conclude that the motive was purely inter-gang rivalry. DNA, ringing lies from the scrawny neck of truth. bags.
sense. Bruno, you used to be a wrecking machine. Nobody could do more push-ups than you. Push-ups. Um.
is a flyboy hot dog helicopter pilot who flew missions in Nam and can't get enough of the ladies. I'm kind of a sassy prick. Bonnie Knight is a recovering alcoholic ninja who will sleep her way to the truth. Some information. When they're not fighting their personal demons, they're fighting crime. They're private detectives. They are Angel and the Knight. Tuesday nights at 7, don't miss Angel and the Knight. They live together on a speedboat and have a special helicopter that goes underwater. Now you are going to die, but... Under balloon chases, fist fights. <clears throat> don't make me unzip my pants. So this is where the coke is going? Up your nose? Hey, Vic. Hey, Vic. Uh, what are you doing here? You had me running around town like a psycho, and all the while you're siphoning it off for your personal use. You are unbelievable. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, look, can, can we talk about this later? Oh, <laughs> hey, Vic. <laughs> Shit. Louise, what the hell is going on? Well, uh, um, uh, uh, bro. Hey, hey, bro, it ain't nothing like that. I wouldn't do that to you. I just needed something to take my mind off things. So you fucked my brother? No! no. We just get high together. God damn, you are so judgmental, like you're a damn saint or something. Why are you being such an asshole? You are a mess. And you're wonderful. A wonderful drug dealing, thieving oh, murderer. Come on, guys. I was doing it for us. Who are you trying to kid? You don't give a shit about me. Not now, I don't. You know what? You make me want to puke, you self-righteous dick! Ah, get lost! Stay away from me, you sick bastard. You're a phony, Vic Vance. What are you gonna do? Thanks a lot, Lance. What? Listen. Who cares? It's my coke. It's all my coke. And I'll do with it whatever I damn well please. Let's come back here. Shut up! You're always telling me what to do. But if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have any of this. If I want to take coke, I will. If I want to give it away, I will. And I'm going to give it away. All of it. And you can't stop me. Let's. Don't be stupid!
and take a mallet to a Maibatsu. It's a campaign that dates back to colonial times, when we told the Brits to shove their tea up their limey asses and showed them the American spirit by drinking moonshine and killing natives instead. Stop the invasion of foreign goods, or you'll wake up speaking a different language, working for a foreign boss, while your wife takes a foreign lover. I fuck your fat American wife. <laughs> Stay free. Buy American goods. It's a trade war. We nuked these bastards. Now let's give it to them.
must be subtracted in order for the equation to work correctly. I quite fancy a blend of mathematics and extreme violence. Look, enough of this, you freak! No way! My musicians aren't afraid to experiment on or off the stage. Wait, I'm the wave 103. I'm the wave 103. I'm the wave 103, you swat! this did i do anything stupid in the last few days stupid oh no 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 you passed stupid and kept on going straight on it's a fucked up lance it's louise where's vic i need him it's me louise what is it vic oh thank god it's that martinez he must think we're still an item yeah well we're not for crying out loud vic i didn't sleep with lance we're just friends which is more than you've been lately you never call we never see each other is this going somewhere i just wanted you to know that martinez's thugs have been following me and because i want to get back together i'm trying to avoid being killed and now i'm hiding out around the back of some stupid burger bar not that you give a shit what martinez sent guys after you i don't even know why i called I'm gonna kick their asses myself. Wait, 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 Louise! Louise! Lance, you wanna help me out? <sighs> Forget it. Are you there? Vic! Help! Is that your bitch? She's Martinez's now. And you're gonna be ours! Your head'll look real good on my wall. Have a nice day. Ugh. You getting this? Oh, take your shit! <laughs> hey, ladies. The pleasure is back. is pleasure that lasts longer. So long. And it's low tar. Low tar. Celebrating the struggle for women's equality with each full-flavored cigarette. So slim, so silky. Athena, pleasure lasts longer than he does. When you're at home popping pills and watching daytime Hi, TV, celebrate your womanhood. It's your tiny torch of freedom oh. and liberation in today's society. Time to relax. Time for an Athena. Grab your lips. Uh. Uh. It's gonna get me!
Luis! You were never about to die! I'm not the door out of you! Hey, I might just kill you! Hey, everything's gonna be okay! Pick! I knew you'd come! I think I need a doctor! I need some help over here! Come on, get a doctor! This is The Wave 103, bringing the hottest music. Bringing you the newest music, a revolution in pop. It's synthesizer music from the future of entertainment. Please, madam, don't interrupt me. An auditory ecstasy. That was Howard Jones. I love that track. I have the import of that record in a hermetically sealed chamber in my condo basement. A forest. Androgyny has its benefits. Go.
space age love song. It's about the shuttle, I think. When science allows us to reproduce asexually, my unborn baby will listen to that record in my womb. Wow. You're on the wave. Thank you. 
stage and soon to your television. I'm going to be a VJ. That future. Who's going to listen to the radio to hear music you can watch it instead? How do you watch music, Thicko? Music paints its own pictures. Music comes with short films now, Adam. They're called videos. I'm the bastard love child of punk and disco. I'm the wave one of three. This week on Angel in the Night. Sometimes you have to get on your knees for freedom. Chris falls in love with a handicapped speedboat champion, showing his gentle side. When they're not fighting their personal demons, they're fighting crime. They're private detectives. They are Angel and the Night. He knows how to get answers from women with his fists. I'm gonna hit you, then make love to you. She knows how to get answers with her lips. I know how to get you to tell me where the diamonds are hidden. On a funny night, you need a slump. Yes. I caida. I hide the diamonds, and I kill it, Professor. I put you. Now tell me, where are the diamonds? Tuesday night at Cerro Dopus, Angel and the Night. I'm away. This is Trish the F. Ah, Vic, my friend. I've a small side deal requiring a sensitive touch. Sensitive? Let's just say I'd rather my boss didn't find out about this. <laughs> or my men, for that matter. Let me guess. You've cut your colonel's coke to make a side profit. Shh, Vic, please. This is, after all, the land of opportunity. I don't care who you rip off, Gonzalez. As long as it's not me. Bueno. The drugs are at Ocean Beach. Take them to the deal in Washington. <laughs> Pepe, the station only has one DJ. Hector Hernandez on Radio Espantoso.
30 minutes, people. Stay tuned. Stay on top. Stay crazy. Just like me. V-Rock. Yeah. And last if you don't shut up, you'll be the only intern I ever fired. Grow your hair. Put on a spandex cat suit and learn to pout. Now, my son, you're a man. Hey, how's my packet look? Tiny. V-Rock. I can't believe that thing got me pregnant. Yeah. The Rock makes it feel so good. I'm touching myself. Speaking of, after losing a pinky, I finally mastered my butterfly knife. Pinnacle. What the fuck? You hit the van too hard. The drugs are gone everywhere. There's more in this dude than in the back. Quit whining. Let's just get this shit up to the party on Starfish. We've got bitches waiting. Gonzalez, we got hit. The drugs, they're gone. What? Are you fucking with me? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you? Are you high on my shit? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, I must have been breathing it in while I was out cold. I want my drugs back, Vic. I still have a buyer who might be interested, but he's leaving town real soon. Kill the bastards who did this and get my drugs back to the lockup. Oh, they'll pay all right. You trying to get fresh? I keep on giving on the go. At least you managed to retrieve my merchandise. But I think 
For our friendship, this is the end. Adios. different belief system than you. It doesn't mean you're small-minded. 
decided. It means you've understood that there is right and there is wrong, whatever the liberals in the government try to tell you. When you're facing the final judgment, try telling the real Supreme Court that you thought everyone was made equal. You'll get laughed out of court. It's a club, listeners. Anyone can join as long as they pay. But if they choose not to, they better live with the consequences. Let's take a caller. You're on New World Order. What's your problem with abroad? Hey. Yes. Uh, Dwayne? Yes. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about that Buddha guy. Okay. Man, I love that Buddha guy. I'm all about the little fat bastard. I can tell you what, that's some fucking hot shit in the
why I'm the number one disc jockey. Cause I got some motherfucking fat ass Oliver Lady Killer Biscuit trying to buy the fucking radio station. Let me tell you one thing. Oliver, you can try your fat ass.
Tri-State City's number one radio station. Fresh 105, yours truly loose. And I'm sitting up in here. My request line don't sound like that. My request lines sound like people want to have sex, phone sex, all kinds of sex.
One life, and if your soul may leave you, find another and listen to this next song. Loves the sun. 
insensitive to my audience and the fact that I, I'm obscene and I say shit on the radio that people just... Darling, do you not feel a special connection between us? A certain magic? No, and I'll be honest with you, you're not really my type. Go. Barry, is everything sorted for tonight? Mate, seriously, of course it's bloody sorted. You're gonna blow them away. Hmm. Well, I'm more worried about someone blowing me away. Oh, the talk of blowing! Oh, listen, sweetheart, please take out your many frustrations on Barry with you and leave me alone. Barry? I've had Barry. Everyone has. Do what? I like a challenge. Phil is joking. Barry? Mm. Listen, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Stop taking the mic. Yes, last year in Monaco. What? Too much champagne. No, there wasn't. Too much love in the air. No, there wasn't. You better shoot it. It's lies, Phil. But it was beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Barry, we're safe, right? Safe? The best security geezer in town has just turned up. Would I lie to you, kid? Yes, actually. All the time. Well, this time I'm not. Vic, would I lie to him? Probably. <sighs> We'd better go to wardrobe. Vic, do us a favour. Go check the concert hall is clear. Mr Superstar Soppy Bollocks here is going all showbiz on me. Sure. Hey, I wasn't the one finding true love in Monaco. Oh, shut it till you'll be finding a new manager. Hey, don't tempt me. I just love those two. <laughs> they are delicious. Shoot you.
I'm going to warn the others. This is my suit him. Don't Come on. Take it. I got him. You have every right to shit yourself. Hey, I got more. It's Vic, eh? I told you, nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you inside. Seriously, mate, is everything all right? Sure, but, um, you might want to call bomb disposal. Bomb disposal? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, good one, yeah, yeah, fucking comedian. Yeah, yeah I should put you on the fucking stage, huh? Phil, mate, uh, maybe we should delay rehearsals a while, eh? Technical issues, you know, nothing serious, it's all right. Bikes, mamas, and big saddlebags. Bikes, mamas, and big
radio from last night. You were a space case even before you went to rehab. Even when you're on the radio, you're lip syncing. Cokehead. We are young.
soldier? So, you're Vic. Yeah. And you? You Diaz? No, I'm Santa Claus. I heard a lot about you. Mr. Big. Buddies with the Mendez. I don't think we're exactly friends. Whatever you say. I heard you wasn't exactly a load of laughs, amigo. But crack a fucking smile. Life is amazing. Look at me. I got porn. I got drugs. I got money. I'm happy. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I want out. I don't want to sell drugs, but I ain't got a choice right now. Jeez, Quentin. You didn't say your brother was such a bull. Hey, Vic. Quentin? Hey, good to see you, man. You know, Rennie sent me. Me and Ricardo been hanging out. <laughs> How was she? Yeah, good. Oh, she knows a lot of tricks for such a young girl, huh? Mm -mm. Lance, you're mm. pathetic. What? Yeah, Quentin. Only took you three minutes. <laughs> Have a cigar. <laughs> Have a ride. Hey, don't mind if I do. <laughs> so. You boys gonna help me out? Sure, baby. We're gonna make you a star. Shut up, you fool. All right. What do you need? Gonzalez thinks he can move product without paying me. He must be on something. <laughs> He's hitting some shit offshore. Maybe you bad boys can go get it. All right, fine. Come on, moron. Vice is a big city. That shit could be anywhere. This Gonzalez? Would you recognize any of his men? Maybe. Good, because if I was in the big city with just a few hours to kill, I'd want to get high with a brother or get down with a sister. And I know where the out-of-towners do both. Come on, let's pop like cola. Businessman. Great. That's a no then. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see one of Gonzalez's men, holla. This is nuts. There's no way we I don't believe it. That's one of his guys right there. Man, I'm good. <laughs> I scare myself sometimes. I'm betting he takes us right to the merchandise. Come on, let's tail him. You are listening to Planet Patrol, right here on Vice City's number one radio station. How did you know he'd be there? All the out-of-towners go there to get high and get laid. I did. He's off, Vic. We're not trying to sit in his lap.
things, you know, they're claiming that I'm very insensitive to my audience and the fact that I, I'm obscene and I say shit on the radio that people just don't fucking like. But let me tell you all something, some of you dick eaters out there, some of you lawyer motherfuckers who don't have anything else to do in life, go fuck yourself! I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say on this motherfucking radio station, and if you don't like it, turn the fucking down, bitch. Fresh Let me try. Uh, tastes fine. I can't tell. Ah, Vic! Thank you, Lord. At last, someone who isn't the missing link. Hey, DS. Let me try. Uh. <laughs> if I wanted to snort milk, I'd go suck a damn cow, dickhead. Don't cut it so much. What are you doing? I'm playing both sides. I make a little deal with the DEA. I hand over 200 kilos of that cocaine you and Quentin stole from Gonzalez. In exchange, they're gonna give me some serious guns. Whoa! Oh, hey. Not like this toy! Holy! Okay. <laughs> but first, we cutting the cocaine. So they get 200 kilos, and I keep the rest. Comprende? But we gotta get the mix right. Let me try. All right, bag it up and load it into the truck for Vic, but uh, leave a little out for me. I got a little wine. May come along in case you decided to drive off with his merchandise. Come on, let's get to the deal. Do you always drive this bad?
just in time, senor. The DEA will be here any minute with our guns. Oh, get down! Snipers! They're all over! The deal's gonna be ruined! It's Gonzalez's men! Some V Rock virgins here in the studio. Come on, senor. We got the guns, but we're not home free like yet. That, senor. Here they come. <laughs> wow, you show Laszlo your bazamba. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. We're naked in here. Laszlo, why are you covering your eyes? Hey, kids. Why spend Saturday watching boring cartoons about fighting aliens when you can help fight real illegal aliens? Head to some real-life Saturday safety fun and ammunition with Derek the Dodo. Yay! Hi, kids. I'm Derek the Dodo. Today, I'm going to teach you all about gun safety. Doesn't that sound fun? Yay! Guns can be very dangerous, especially to little people who don't like hole shot in them, or to birds on deserted islands who thought the nice sailors only wanted to be friends. But that's another story. Derek will teach the kids what to do if they find a gun around the house. What do we do first? We pick it up. Second? Check is loaded. Right, because we don't want any nasty accidents. So look down the barrel and pull the trigger. Yep, it's loaded, Henry. And you made a mess. Next, carefully file off the serial number and conceal it quickly about your person. Yeah! Ammunition and Derek the Dodo have been proudly bringing gun safety to your community for over 30 years. Ammunition. Take the guns back to your colonel. But remember, you belong to me now. Any shipments you bring to Vice City comes through me. See, si, see, si, no problem. Vic, I was just talking to my new friend Gonzalez about loyalty. How I will look after him so long as he does what he's told. And you will do as you're told, won't you? See, si, see. Si. Bueno. Escort him to the airport, Vic. Show him what it means to be your friend of Ricardo Diaz. And what it is to be an enemy. Is 
T-Rock. Let's turn it up to 12. Bitch!
officers announced the seizure of a large drug haul today as 199 kilos of uncut cocaine was captured entering the country. Agents involved in the swoop were praised for their professionalism by Police Commissioner McGinley, who added, to be seen as winning the war on drugs is just as important as actually winning the war. VNN, hustling raw news to green public. The rear guard advances, unstoppable. So, you are finished. Yeah. Diego, they are finished. Que bueno. And none of us dead. The civilized life of gentlemen. We have our money, so you are free. You must leave town, of course, and give us control of your other interests. What? But you, your families, no one will die. This is fair. Fair? Oh yeah, if you think getting screwed in the ass and then paying for it is fair, then it sounds like a great deal. I find your attitude and your language terribly distasteful. Puta madre. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, hey, Mr. Mendez, listen, I... We have done a lot of things for you. We kept up our end of the bargain. Now you want us to give up our interest? You came to my town. You run around like a maniac. You bring the police and the DEA into my life. And now I want you gone. You're very lucky you're not dead. Hey, listen, I made a ton of money for you. Money I didn't lose. And now, you're done. Oh. You're obsolete. You hey, know look what? Look out, Vic, the mule! Oh. 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 Oh, where are we? No place good. I think we outlived our usefulness to the Mendezes. You! Shut up! Hey, they're waking up. Let's get this done quick. Screw this! Die! Ah! train stops here.
This is a shortcut to hell. Great! Now we're at war with the Mendez brothers. It's all cool, bro. I'm a man with a plan. <laughs> Just give me a little time. descended on Vice City's Lower West Side today when fuel containers at Escobar International Airport unexpectedly ignited, causing thousands of dollars in damage and interrupted flights to and from the airport. Escobar officials have warned travelers that missed flights due to the explosion cannot be reimbursed. They also express deep sympathy for those people killed in the blast. VNN, now that's the spicy news ball. Class, baby. This is 1984. It is beautiful. Passion can be released. Boy, do I know that. All the ethnicities, Asians, the Swedes, the little Mexican yes, girl. It, it is beautiful. Really incredible. Hey, baby, I think I'm getting a little stress again. Um, that was our roving reporter, Fernando Martinez. <laughs> what a joke. Just broadcasting from a mall and pretending to be getting an erotic massage. As if. I mean, I think we all know love comes from the heart, and passion is a spiritual connection between two beautiful people. Not a cheap hand job in a seedy massage parlor. I never have, I never will. I'd rather dream.
the Evacuator playset comes with a Venezuelan village, villagers, and real Nepal. You never take our village, freedom-loving American scum. No, but I'll take your daughter while you watch. Ha ha ha. Right, Ho Chi? Ha so. Ha ha ha. You are funny soon. Let's burn this shit all down. You ready, Wonder? Watch it, Psycho. Comrade! Come here! What are you doing here? I heard there's gonna be a party, so I brought fireworks! Where's Lance? I love that guy! Yeah! There he is! <laughs> Mr. Victor Vance, the punk who needs our help. What? <laughs> you grown any cojones yet, lady boy? Yo, bro! <laughs> Come here, Vic. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's up, man? Your brother, man. <laughs> At least one of you has something out here, and a lot down here. Hey, huh? <laughs> so if you guys are ready, let's do this. Hey, Lance, come here, man. Yo, bro, what's up? What the hell's going on? We're about to get hit by those Mendez guys. Thought we could use some of your buddies to crash the party. What? Help out. What, did I do wrong again? No, 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 man. For once, you did very right. Let's go deal with these pricks. Yeah, let's pop! <laughs> We should spread out and cover as much ground as we can. Let me know if you need any help. Wait up. I'm gonna need some serious artillery for this gig. Hello, Mr. M4. M4, motherfucker. That's right. Let's go. Eat lead and play dead. What? I'm lean and I'm mean and I'm here to clean. It's about to be Come on, Vic. We got him on the run. Access denied, sucker. Ugly face is his fist. Fist meet ugly face. So far, stop being such a dick, Lancer Raider. I killed more than you. I should be in charge of this outfit. Bite me. Get out! 
A dead man suck. Just cleaning the shit. We're kicking their asses! Suck lead, asshole. Oh. I can't believe it! We're winning! It's over! This train stops here. Hey, you're gonna die. I just received a message from Umberto and Phil. They've been kicking asses just like us. You mean we did it? We won? Yeah, the Mendez brothers can kiss my ass. They thought they could take us down. This ain't over yet. They're finished. We should take the fight to them. And I know just the man to make it happen. Hey, Vic. Is Louise still in the hospital? Yeah, but she'll be getting out soon. That's good. Look, we got a big deal coming down today. I'm gonna need you there. Wait a minute. Why are you asking about Louise? Take it easy. It's just that, uh, you know, Martinez called and he said that he's gonna pay her a visit. And I don't think he means to take some fruit. What? Look, the hospital's got security. She'll be fine. Let's you and me just go make some money. You're kidding, right? Oh, man. Get your priorities in order.
Louise, <laughs> you look good. Thanks. I feel good. You know, for a while I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Look, I was angry. I shouldn't have said what I did. Me neither. You want to do something fun? No business, just me and you. Oh, nuts. It's Lance. What the hell? Trapped in a burning building? Bring a helicopter? What can I do? Business can be fun. There's a helicopter on the roof of the hospital. We could take that. Trouble? No? Well, I did. Martina set us up! Divide and conquer! He got you out of the way and nearly nailed me! Martina's men took everything! But we're gonna get it back! They headed out to sea! Come on! Let's get after them! Up. Maybe we can still have some fun. That's okay, Vic. I had fun. But I should be getting back to Mary Beth now. Oh, yeah. Sure. Near infinite 18K of incredible memory, remarkable two tone, eight inch monitor, and the ability to type letters. The price of freedom, just $5,000. Plug into freedom. The miracle of tomorrow is the Fruit LC.
Louise, I'll call you real soon. Oh, okay. I'm kind of in the middle of a war right now. It's okay. I'll wait. Faces going places, it's so wonder, it's so clear. By a fountain climbing mountains as we hold each other near. Sipping wine, we try to find that special magic from above. As we share our fair talking in the glow. Oh, 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 oh. So, we got a deal, Q? We got a deal, <laughs> baby! We'll repay you everything we borrowed at 25% interest a week, or we work for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salute! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> or I kill you and your brother with a blunt instrument. <laughs> Vic, we were just talking about yeah. you. Yeah. 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 About you boys repaying that money at lunch, huh? What fucking money? Uh, hey, what's he talking look, about? Look, I borrowed some money for us from Ricardo, and we're gonna pay him back, okay? What the fuck have you done now? I invested back in the business. I'm sorry, Ricardo, baby, but sometimes brothers get out for mail on you. you know. I know. That's why I killed mine. Boys, relax. <laughs> Just go do that thing for me, and uh, we'll be good. Yeah! Wait, 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 hold on. What, what is he talking about? Look, Ricardo wants us to destroy all of Armando Menz's bear bonds. And I know it sounds risky, but trust me, I got it, I got it going, because I've done this a million times. Let's just pop, baby. You know, let's just pop. Uh, Guess I'm doing this one on my own. <laughs> hey, boss. Have you seen Lance? Unfortunately, yes. What is it? That's some high-tech gear he ordered. It's up near the Mendez mansion, ready to go. What high-tech gear? What's it for? Uh, Lance said something about getting around Mendez's security, destroying their bonds or something. Leave it with me. I want you to turn up the radio just a little bit louder. Louder? You see the president last night? Mad Reagan, man! Fuck! to like move to Canada, but I'm just really not into this whole Reagan thing. No, you like a nice, soft liberal to cuddle up to. Man, the president, great performance, a flawless performance. The Soviets didn't applaud, but they're lucky we don't bomb their godless asses back to the Stone Age. If you're gonna play a synthesizer, you better not be wearing makeup. It's not makeup, it's free expression. This is V-Rock. Cousin Ed coming at you live, the bitch is back, we're gonna give away, I can't even say it, we're setting world records, Woo! get ready, $50 in cold hard cash, V-Rock, making you rich, not itch, just call and tell me why you rock the most. The Masterbot, where are you? 
How did Diego talk me into buying that electric trash can? Domestobot loves cleaning. Shh. Remote control override. I live to serve. Domestobot, clean the study! Domestobot is well versed in these arts. Oh, get away from me, robots! Domestobot loves cleaning. Domestobot! You lousy piece of crap! You've ruined me! Do you require a light? Farewell, faithful friend. The phoenix must burn first before she rises. Such is life. Brenny, hey, what's wrong? Darling, he wants me dead. Who? Diego Mendez, that's who. Why? Because I put you in contact with Ricardo Diaz. Said it was disloyal of me. Not as disloyal as him, two-timing me with that tramp. Whoa, wait. You guys were an item? Yes, but I could not deal with him. He talked too much. Beat me, Renny. Spank me, Renny. Blow coke up my <laughs> ass, Renny. It was too goddamn much. <laughs> Diego Mendez? <laughs> Jeez. So now I must go to Dr. Horowitz. He's a genius. Tomorrow, you, Renny. <laughs> oh, you're not having another sex change. I only have three. Oh, please, darling, save me. Diego's men will be here any second. I just know it. I'll hold them up. You'll have to find your own way to the hospital. Find my own way? But darling, I always have. Going so soon?
Yep, your life is done. Unlucky for you, I like killing scumbags. It's metal, it hurts, and it's pointing at you. Catch, sucker. I'm gonna enjoy this a lot more than you. Oh yeah, it's me and my pet gun. Suck lead, asshole. You are now about to die. That's it for you, bitch. Thanks, Dwayne. Despite its name, the city is nothing like a deli, except the food is old and the coffee tastes like armpit. India is an ancient culture, and it shows. Sweaty hordes of yogi folk waft about chanting, oh. Giving that smug look that comes with inappropriate stretching in public. I learned quickly not to show your teeth when at the monkey temples. It makes the monkeys angry. But I didn't come here to get in feces fights. I've got a little Brazilian waiter I do that with on Friday nights back at home, and my wife is out playing bridge. These cocky contortionists aren't just a threat to our convenience stores back in America. There's a bigger threat looming on the horizon. The food. Dwayne, I've been here for 20... Freak of nature! Freak? I'm an artist. I'm sensitive. And I'm going to kill all of your fucking filthy fuckers. Freak, save me! This gun makes me feel so masculine. Make love to me, Vic. Let's just get to the hospital. Then you will make love to me, no? No. Bullshit! I'll be glad when I'm a woman! Keep your head down! In your lap, darling? On second thoughts, okay. keep shooting! What's your point? My wife, she says, Thornton, what are you doing under that tree? And you know what I say? I'm finding my own fucking minute, you damn bitch. You should get some fucking enlightenment. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to eat. I like to eat. Set perfectly and digest. I got that book. From enlightenment to the outhouse in 10 easy meals. It's good chicken fried steak, a bit of hog, biscuits and gravy, some greens, grits, gator, immigrant cheese. This isn't a cooking show. I know that, bud. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> All that shooting! I'm so turned on, Dr. Horowitz is going to need a chainsaw to cut through this wood. Man, I do not want to know.
Oh, I know I use wonderful creams. Vic, darling! How do I look? Uh, different. Fantastic! I was just telling Barry he should get some implants. Ho, ho, flipping ho. <laughs> Great. Hey, Phil, you ready for the concert? How's everything looking? Good. I think, unless Barry's got some more surprises in store. <laughs> Hold on, mucker. You are going to have to stop giving me an hard time. Well, no worries. You stop having me killed, and I'll stop complaining about it. Vic dealt with that, that teething trouble. This is rock and roll, so not flipping flower arranging. Oh, do shut up. Listen, we've got work to do. Vic, we'll see you at the gig. Renee, <gasps> it's uh, been an experience. <laughs> I'll make sure Barry calls you. Darling. Phil. I love you, boss. Vic, can you drive me to the airport on your way to the gig? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>
Where have you been? Phil's already on. I'm shitting bricks here, mate. Giorgio's definitely gonna try something. Keep your pants on. I'll make my way down front and keep an eye on things.
that's it. I'm paying Giorgio back. It's going to cost me a bloody fortune. You know, he wants 60% interest. What can I do? I've got to think of me boy's well-being. Hi, Vic. What do you think of the show? Killer. Cheers. Hey, Barry. I'm glad you're thinking of my well-being. I could do with a break. No, mate. We should be moving on. Strike while the iron's hot. The US loves you. But I'm booked in at the hotel for another week. I was going to work on the tan. You're kidding. You're going to go to work, mate. I've just lined up a rake of shows. Loads of dosh. And what about my well-being? Trust me, you'll thank me. Don't get all histrionic. Histrionic? I've spent the last few days being chased around the city by a maniac. I've been shot at and nearly blown up. See what I mean? Bloody celebrities. Hey, Vic. Have you ever thought about a career in management? Oh, no, boy. I'm your management. Yeah, mismanagement. Or was that just Rennie's name for you? You should have got those false tits, mate, just like Rennie suggested. They look great alongside that real one you're using for your head. Louise. Hey, Vic. Hey. Hey, where's Louise? I don't know. But shit, if that bitch ripped us off, I'll rip her head off. Hey, she's clean, unlike you. No, she is a drug addict. I'm just having fun. <laughs> there is a difference. Vic! Vic! They got Louise! What? They had me too. It was awful. Who? All these men all sweaty and hot and well, nobody laid a finger on me, but they got Louise! Who's got Louise? They got her and they said they'll kill her if you don't do what they want. Who? Armando Mendes! Oh! Oh, he wanted me too. I could see it in his eyes. Those Latino men always like the voluptuous women. I nearly got taken! All right. Come on, Lance. Let's finish this. Why? She's a train wreck. Let him have her. What? Are you serious? Yeah, move on. Plenty more fishes in the sea, baby. You get moving right now or I'll shoot you first. All right, all right. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Wait. I'm telling you, it was nearly me. One day it'll be me. <laughs> one day. <laughs>
Come on, move it, Lance. Man, we're wasting our time. The bitch is dead already. Armando's got two things to say. One, get out of ice now and the girl lives. And two, my car! I'm gonna tear Mendez apart! Get these people, eh? Okay, well, next up we have America's favorite female industrialist, Ford. Hello, Ford. Hey, Chavez, can we get on with this? There's a real estate closing I have to get to. Has someone got a light? Certainly. Man, those are very embowering cigarettes. Interesting name, by the way. Kind of... Attending every city council meeting to mouth off. Intense public activist, Bryony Craddock. Hello. Nice to meet you, Bryony. You know, I can't help... cannot influence policy makers. I don't know what can. Bribes, blackmail, yes, yes, low yes, 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 debate, 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 please. Uh, Healthy debate. A young man getting pulled into maturity by people who know. Go-getters on the path to being broadcasting superstars. One day. If you let me speak, I'm the ringmaster, okay? I'm not alive. You clap like seal when I say something. Oh, and then a clown comes and scoops up my poop. And. Kill him! Louise! Lance! Do you think you're hero enough to bring back the dead? Where are they, Armando? They're upstairs resting, in peace. Would you like to join them? If you've hurt them. Senor. I assure you, they didn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, the same will not be said of you. Is that the best you got? Ah! Ah! Guards! Uh, Luis! Uh. Uh, hey. Vic, you came for me. <laughs> no one ever really did much for me before. That's sweet of you. Hey, hey, come on, let's, let's get you to a hospital. I don't think there's much point in that. Come on, Louise. We could have had something special. Yeah. 
No. We did have something special. Make sure Mary Jo takes care of my baby. <laughs> oh, Louise. <sighs> Louise. <sighs> oh. Ah. <sighs> Hey, I, Vic, I, I know you cared about her, man. But she wasn't right for you. Vic. Hey, Vic. Family's what matters. Oh, damn. All right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make it. I can make it. I know I can, man. City's philanthropist brothers, Armando and Diego Mendez, is just reaching us. A drug-crazed maniac is alleged to have fought his way onto their well-guarded estate and assassinated the elder brother, Armando. The whereabouts and conditions of Diego Mendez is still unknown at this time. VNN, dredging for rumors off the Gossip Coast. Step around in the sunshine. <laughs> oh, Big Vance! You ready? What's going on, DS? It's time for you to revenge the death of that girl of yours and bring the whole Mendez operation down! <laughs> you want a bump, man? No. Well, I do. Uh, ah, Jesus. My spies tell me everything. This is the plan. The army just took delivery of some new attack helicopters. Meanwhile, Diego Mendez thinks he's untouchable just because no one could get him from the ground. So... So, how about I sneak into the army base, steal a chopper, and use that to attack him? <laughs> si, senor. Si, senor. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that coke is doing something to your brain, buddy. No, it just helps me think and get it on. It'll be easy, but you need help. Uh... What about Quentin? He can fly? No, thanks. Huh? I know. What about oh. this guy, Phil? He's an old army buddy of mine. I love him. Go get him. All right. This is it, man. No more Mendez. No more trouble for us. Ha-ha-ha! <sighs> oh. Tractor Spider Pod. It's the thing you always needed, but never knew it. The Fruit LC is the future in electronic individuality at a computer age. Home color computing with the miracle of the cassette loading software programs. Near infinite 18K of incredible memory. 
remarkable two-tone eight-inch monitor, and the ability to type letters. The price of freedom, just $5,000. After Diego Mendez. I wouldn't ask for help if I didn't need it, but I need it. There's an attack copter up at the base. If I can get hold of it. <clears throat> you need a decoy. Then I got all the decoy you're gonna need. She's gone. The situation. Sorry, Vic. She was a good soldier. Uh, a, a good sister, I mean. gonna do anything stupid are you man we're breaking into a military base and i'm drunk what could be more stupid don't worry about me don't worry about me louis yeah! <laughs> suck on that Lead, asshole.
end of the downtown. This place is like a fortress. But this baby, she'll tear the whole building down. Great. When I'm done, we're done. Lance and I will owe you nothing. When you're done, I'm going to own this town. It's the American dream. And it's all because of you, Vic. You're a hero. No, I'm an asshole. I spent all my time running around making morons rich while my family fell apart and the woman I wanted died waiting for me to call. Woman? You need some porn? I just got in some crazy donkey porn. You'll love it. I'll be finished with it by the time you get back. I'm not coming back, Diaz. And I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Woohoo! Whatever you say, tough guy. I'll see you around. <laughs> today after admitting an attack helicopter was stolen from their military base north of Escobar International Airport. Senior officers have said the thief should be regarded as most definitely armed and dangerous and urged him to do the right thing. Return their chopper, then turn himself in, please. VNN, making and breaking the news.
like Vic's partying without me! Sweep the building! Flush that turd up to the roof so I can finish this! I know. Ten hut! <laughs> Vic! I swear to God, I thought you were gonna salute me! Toss the gun! Fuck you! Vic, still so uptight. You know what your problem is? You're trying to be the good guy in a bad man's game! Huh? I thought you had potential. Turns out you're just another chump, like Mendez. Me cago en tu madre. Oh yeah, ese. Que hay de nuevo? Mete a la mierda. You first. Go to hell. Another fight, another victim. Thanks for everything, Martinez. You're a great help. Shut up! It's over! What? Oh! But well, we did it, baby! Uh, you uh, and me! Uh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen. Now that things are straight with Diaz, we should get out of town or lay low for a little while, you know? Yeah, you're right, man. Look, I'm gonna send some money to Pete. Cool! But, bro, I don't want you thinking it's just about you. That it's all about you! Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. It's about you, me, Pete, Bob, wherever the hell she but is. But wait! I've been making moves! I got a hold of 20 keys, Are man. you crazy? Get rid of it! No! All we gotta do is sit on it! It's hidden out of sight! Out of town, man! We lay low and then sell it! No! 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 I am not interested! Got it? Okay, man! Whatever you say! That's right! Come on! Let's pop!
Bananas and big saddlebags. Say goodbye. A shit in your eyes? It's your life flashing before you. I'm gonna bust your ass. It's metal, it hurts, and it's pointing at you. Oh yeah, it's me and my pet gun. I'm gonna tear you a new asshole. Don't make me nervous. Go to hell, bitch. Never, ever do that. Be very careful <gasps> now. Damn children in this town.
gun. I got a heart. This is horse you. shit. Fuck yourself! Go to hell, bitch!
a new asshole. I'm gonna bust your ass. Come on, sissy boy. Oh. Around my vessel, baby. I kill anyone for a thousand dollars. It's a phone from the set. And your mother did it again. No kids toy.
Last chance to draw a breath. I got plenty of this. This might sting a little. Yes, it's death time. That's it for you, bitch. No one can miss you. Your biggest mistake? Being born. Angel and the Night. He 
torpedoes out of Gavenzers from women with his fists. I'm gonna hit you, then make love to you. She knows how to get answers with her lips. I know how to get you to tell me where the diamonds are hidden. Oh, you funny night! You got the diamonds? Yes, I hide I hide the diamonds. Did I, bro? I can sue your ass straight to Tuesday. You gotta clean your gut every day. Last chance to draw a breath.
Last chance to draw a breath. Bye, asshole. I could never ace that bra. And all Americans buy Japanese cars. <laughs> you want food stamps now? This month, celebrate American diplomacy and take a mallet to a Maibatsu. Stay free. Buy American goods. Brought to you by the Buy American. Oh yeah, it hurts. Hey, boy.
Want a break? You may as well. This ain't no one's gonna miss you. Boxes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
almost stole my lawnmower. Get your grubby mitts yes, off me! Yes, you'll miss the damn wheels. Smoking cigarettes, holy cheese and crackers! I don't even buy homogenized milk, homo sapien! Yeah, yeah! Don't sign your yearbook, burn it! Riding women, wall-to-wall, -wall, big voices, network sound, D-Rock! About to tear you on new Heavy battle! Laszlo, you probably won't even accept tongue in your mouth! You're such a bastard. You could not do this job ever, Laszlo. Let's load up. Let's party. While you're at a car key party. Who wants to fuck my wife? We're free basing. <laughs> From the top of the Vulture building. This is v -Rod. Got a stranglehold? Let go or you'll have to bury the evidence. Cousin Ed on V-Rock with Ted Nugent, a.k.a. Terrible Ted. The Nuge, the axe master who gets more wang dang sweet poon tang than Laszlo. But then again, don't we all? Let's get... A cool attitude is really important. Just don't kill me. <laughs> Is fast forward. The future is yours if you can handle it. Stop by fast forward in vehicle audio today.
one's gonna miss you. Are you feeling it?
finish you! Just cleaning the shit. Hey, dead man! <laughs> Wanna pray? May as well.
This train stops here. Hey, will you die? You little bitch, move! the silent alarm, buddy. Another dead cunt. Okay, okay, I'll pay. I'm ready to create distance, get it? I love to chase Queen. Yes, that's me. <laughs> You're a failed actor. You were so terrible in your last show. The rich cry land. I am a successful actor and DJ genius! Don't make me nerds! Damn girl, let me see. I can't take anymore! I'll do what you want! usually survive this next bit. Okay, okay, I'll pay.
more protection from a kitten than I get from you. I've got some cleaning up to do. Why doesn't somebody help me? Uh. Hey, dead man, what's up? Okay, okay, I'll pay. Anymore. I'll do what you want. Do that! I can't take anymore! I'll do what you want! It's a campaign that dates back to colonial times, when we told the Brits to shove their tea up their limey asses and showed them the American spirit by drinking moonshine and killing natives instead. Stop the invasion of foreign goods, or you'll wake up speaking a different language, working for a foreign boss, while your wife takes a foreign lover. I fuck your fat American wife! <laughs> Stay free. Buy American goods. It's a trade war. We nuked these... Hey, I paid for protection, so protect me! Oh, I'm ruined!
on, tough guy. Get in there! Come on, tough guy. Life ain't easy, is it, pal? Are you crazy? Oh, Pay, just stop it, please! You dick! That was totally scary. It's Pigeon! I'm sleeping with the station manager. I'm sitting with this microphone. This shit is over. Okay, okay, I'll pay.
You took your time getting here. I can't believe you called this protection. I hope you get here quicker next time. You make a real fine. Take anymore. I'll do what you want. Hey, I paid for protection, so protect me! I hope you get here quicker next time! Anymore. I'll do what you want. Ah! It's metal, it hurts, and it's I'm gonna at shove you. that gun up your ass.
these video cassettes and a wave of the future. <laughs>
No one's gonna miss you. Kiss rules, Molly Crew rules, tripping and drinking whiskey here on Vera. We've got some fans who are going to be backstage at the Love Fish Show. Al, we gave out tickets last month and the winner died in a truck driving accident. Yeah! V Rock, the home of the vulture. Music is dead and we're eating its innards. cigarettes. It's almost over with as soon as you put it in your mouth. This is pleasure that lasts longer. Celebrating women's struggle with each full flavored cigarette. You're a goddess. Smoke like one too. Athena 200s. It's Athena.
understand now, huh? Park by city? Man, I like so hard this place. It's pretty bitchin'. I think I've laid a lot. No, you don't. It means I love Vice City. It's symbolic as in I'd heart your ugly face getting run over by an 18 mil, you tramp. Let's take a break. Flash your fan, flash your fan. Vice City. We're the bus! We're never red! We hate anything foreign! We live in a tree separate! Shit off my chest. It's too much goddamn. 
There's too much stealing. You bitches done lost your fucking mind out here in Vice City. What the fuck is going on with y'all? It's too much of this shit. Hey, Vice PD, what the fuck y'all doing? You're sitting on your fucking ass. Hey, that's a public service announcement brought to you by Luke and Vice City's number one radio station, Fresh 105. Never ace that bra. A cool attitude is really important. Damn girl, let's see. Hey, spoiler, watch the thread. Book by its cover. 
Lover. Instead, uh, shoot on sight. The Barfs. Saturday mornings at 9. The Barfs. actor in El Salvador, in Chile. Now, I am a dignified DJ. Play music para ti. Música para ti, mamá. Telenovelas are very much like your American soap operas. Except we sleep with everyone on the show. The worst in America, the actors only sleep with everyone after filming. Why act when I can transmit 100,000 watts of pure Latin power into your heads, Vice City? Get ready to revolt, Vice City. Take to the streets. Tell them Hector Hernandez sent you. This is a revolution! I am a revolutionary! I am a bullfighter! <laughs> Hey, baby, if you think 
up my soul. Hector here. You might remember me from the telenovela Red Hot Stepmom, or my favorite Black Eyes on the Power of Desire. Passion, mi gente. Pasión. Vamos arriba. Let's keep this party going. A bailar con Radio Espantoso. Surprise! It's fashion underwear for kids featuring all your favorite cartoon heroes like Horny the Unicorn. This is a shortcut to hell. Coward, sir. I like slaying Cambodian villagers, but I really like little girls themed underwear. I got a little lazy surprise! Oh, Daddy, please close your eyes. This is Tito Puente. Oye, como va? Hey, dead man, what's up? I'm gonna shoot you.
Have a nice day. Suck that too. Remember, just say snow. <laughs> To fight for yourself, This is Celia 
y Johnny Kimbara. You say deal, we say steal. I'm gonna enjoy this a lot more than you. See, home computing system is coming. It's a future where you can't be tracked or spied upon. It's the thing you always needed, but never knew it. The Fruit LC is the future of electronic individuality at a computer age. Home color computing with the miracle of the cassette loading software. 18K of incredible memory. Remarkable two-tone eight-inch monitor and the ability to type letters. The price of freedom just... Remember, just say snow, huh? <laughs>
Warlock Lair, which is in the dungeon, or is it a nest? I don't know, but there's panties, and I smell someone's soul. Got some V Rock virgins here in the studio. Bitches! What do you think of Priest? <laughs> yeah, wow, honey. You smuggling some peanuts under that shirt? <laughs> Why don't you show Laszlo your bazamba? Oh, yeah? Oh, hello. We're naked in here. Totally naked, man. Laszlo, why are you rock. covering your eyes? Hey, kid. It's why spend Saturday watching boring cartoons about fighting aliens when you can help fight real illegal aliens. Head to some real life Saturday safety fun and ammunition with Derek the Dodo. Yay! Hi, kids. I'm Derek the Dodo. Today, I'm going to teach you all about gun safety. Doesn't that sound fun? Yay! Guns can be very dangerous, especially to little people who don't like hole shot in them, or to birds on deserted islands who thought the nice sailors only wanted to be friends. But that's another story. Derek will teach the kids what to do if they find a gun around the house. Anytime, man. Me, Maurice Chavez. At one time, my show was buried in overheads. But now, I am man on the way out. Today, helping me to press the issue and separate the sweet juice of truth from the faulty discharge of lies and misunderstanding, we have technologist Martin Griffiths. First, Martin, please explain to every person listening at home what on earth a technologist is. Hello, Maurice. I I'm all about the future. Damn girl left me a TV dinner. You gotta clean your gun every day. Boy, public service to buy city. Like the man who takes your dead food. Hey, stranger, you're dead meat. I'll have your balls for breakfast, boy. Hey, kid, I'm your ass, ass kid. Oh, 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 oh.
offers something with a little style to keep you thinking about that special someone. This is Emotion. Roxy Music, Avalon. And He's also helping me get great prizes. Now, my dream of the Redwood Multi-Gym may finally become a reality. Redwood Junior. Redwood Junior tastes the best. Candy cigarettes are a test. Teach him to smoke as soon as you can. How about a Redwood Junior, little man? <laughs> Make me feel safe. Yeah, it's great knowing everyone's armed to the teeth. Exactly! I've got a six-shooter on each hip and a 
12 shooter between my legs. God, I love my country right now. Football, beer, freedom, Reagan, v -Rock. Other stations are for man eaters. Man eaters. We only eat one thing. Moves from the top of the vulture building. This is V Rock. Hey, all you hot chicks, are you listening? Cousin Ed with intern Laszlo. I'm not the intern, I'm the co host, almost. Besides, I smoke cigarettes. Yeah, probably Athena 200. That's what I want my phones to do. Light up. Some more of these free tickets to give away to the 666 caller. You're on the home of the vulture. Remember, just say snow. <laughs> Cousin Ed here, I'm the cousin you can sleep with and tell your mom. Hell, bring her to a 
have probably had her anyway. This is V Rock. Let's turn it up to 12. Bitch. Deep-seated hatred of foreigners. Hell yes, that too. <laughs> it's time for bait switch. Guns.
bought a fake tuck shirt. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> but folks should also make sure it's a real body of water. Yeah, I watch Drake in case a lot. I got rid of morose and down shit. Got some dynamite. What manatee hunt? Not like you. Not I now. mean, blew the shit out of them bastards. Only when I sold it up, I saw the police and the ambulance and stuff. Then I realized it wasn't a proper waterway, but the local man fucking water park. That's what it was. It was the local water park. What the? I was fucked up, man. But those bitches were fast. They looked like goddamn man. Calvin finna start slapping. See how this Calvin's going down now. Vice City's number one radio station. Cause we are the best. Y'all stay tuned for more hot new songs right here on Fresh.
Trust me, that's not a lot of fun. You gotta... got to base jump off this skyscraper. Brought to you by this station and consider our kids every day. New places with electronics. I was postulating.
everything he had to our country. Now, he's having flashbacks, and someone's going to pay. Howitzer is back. Evacuator. Die, you scum! One man's search for peace. Good night, bitches! I'll kill him before he screams! Dangerous here. 
Casting system again soon. Next is New World Order, international news that takes you around the world and reaffirms you should stick to the safety of your planned subdivision. I love Florida. It's a gift to America. This is VCPR. This is New World Order. I'm your host, Wayne Ford. I'm an American. Are you? If not, you don't deserve to own a radio. If, like me, you don't want a passport and consider Los Santos far too full of <clears throat> exotic people, this is the show for you. Too many shows have started up with no respect for quality persuasion. No understanding that a real man doesn't need to see the... Yeah. 
future of masculinity. Come see me, Jeremy Robard, at Robard's Import Export and Vice Port. Cinderbeast tattoos. There are things that last forever, like a paper degree or the time you play on the railroad tracks with your slow brother and he doesn't get out of the way in time. And you realize this is, how to say, a metaphor for the first sexual experience. Do you like horses? Or maybe you love someone so much you want their name on your ass for all eternity. Or you want a tattoo of a mermaid and a gorilla or a man slaying a dragon with his penis. These guys take good care of you. They use clean needles, they change them every week. They train for a very long time, like three days. And some of them have been in the joint, so you know they have experience. For skulls on fire or Egyptian symbols of fertility, come to Cinder Beast Tattoos. This is Fernando Martinez for Emotion. Written on the heart, tattooed on the loins. I love that guy. He's like a spiritual force. Let's get emotional. Let's take some roofies. Here's some more heart-wrenching power ballads. Hi, this is Jack Howitzer. I want to know what love is, and I want you to show me, or I'll slit your throat. Gotta take a little time.
free ride. Like it with a chick and she throws up and forgets to charge you. Cousin Ed has popped a kickstand. You want to see, Laszlo? You are the king, Bruno. Nobody can touch you. I don't care. Summer Partial Pictures proudly presents... Bruno! You used to be a wrecking machine! Nobody could do more push-ups than you! Push-up, a movie about one man's battle with gravity. I don't respect you, Dad! You're not strong anymore! That's why I let the tennis coach take Mom! And he's got only one... Suck leg, sick face! For breakfast, boy! Payaso! 